stretching it and it keeps stretching and stretching and then eventually it breaks, it is a protein issue and you are deficient in protein. Hey, so what's going on? Super excited for this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you are here. I am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and I am here to help you understand your hair, ingredients, and products from a cosmetic chemist perspective. And I also help entrepreneurs start hair care lines as well. And today we are talking about some telltale signs to know if your hair needs protein. And protein is a huge component when it comes to the health of our hair. And sometimes it can be kind of confusing to, you know, figure out, do I need moisture or protein? What do I need? What do I use? All of the things we are covering in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, as you guys know, protein is the strength, the building blocks of our hair. It makes up the integrity of our hair and it also plays a role in reducing breakage and also retaining moisture within our hair. However, you know, there are some things that we can do on a daily basis that can minimize the protein in our hair. A lot of times that can be different chemical services, coloring services, moisture overload, heat damage and some telltale signs typically are lack of curl definition, limp hair, breakage, dryness, and our hair being really brittle. Now when it comes to deciding and figuring out what is it? Is it the moisture or the protein? Usually I will say this, if your hair is experiencing breakage, brittleness, dryness, in most cases it is moisture. It is your hair is deficient in moisture. However, there are cases when our hair is deficient in protein. So let's talk about how to determine and how to do a really proven test to figure out which one it is. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. On your next wash day, before you even shampoo your hair, I want you to get in the shower and I want you to wet your hair. Like like completely drench drench your hair with water once your hair is completely wet I want you to fill your hair and if your hair feels strong if you stretch it and it goes back to its original form back to its original shape no breakage that is a sign that your hair is balanced you have a balance of moisture and protein and you're good to go now if you're filling your hair and it feels really rough if it feels kind of like dry and brittle feeling, even when it's wet and you do stretch it slightly and you do notice that it breaks even with like the slightest amount of stretch, more than likely it is moisture. And when you're doing this, you're not like taking all your hair and go, you know, like you're taking maybe like a strand while it's wet and you're stretching it slightly. So that's how you can kind of determine if it's that moisture. Now for the big one, if it's protein, you really can't miss this. If, you feel, if you're filling your hair and you notice that, hey, it feels kind of mushy. When I say mushy, what I'm really saying is gummy and weak and it's limp and your curls are not really popping like they should be. And when I say gummy, like think about when you have like spaghetti and if you squish a bunch of spaghetti in your hands, it feels very gummy like. If, you, if you're experiencing that, and also if you're taking some of your hair or a, a strand of your hair and you're stretching it and it keeps stretching and stretching and then eventually it breaks, it is a protein issue and you are deficient in protein. Now when it comes to what can you do in your regimen, so let's talk about the preventative, right? Because there's prevention and then there's like solution, like, hey, I got a problem, I got to solve it. So let's talk about prevention first. Now a really easy thing to do is to alternate your products. So let's say you wash your hair twice a month, right? For that first wash, you'll do a moisturizing conditioner, moisturizing leave-in, right? On your second wash for that month, you're really gonna do like a light protein-based conditioner and a light protein leave-in conditioner. So you're gonna alternate moisture, protein, moisture, protein, and that's gonna help with that balance. So that's more so prevention. Now, if you are on the flip side and you're like, I did the shower test, my hair feels very gummy, it's stretch, 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 stretch before it breaks, this is the solution for you. Now, first thing you wanna do is pre-poo. You guys know I'm huge on pre-pooing your hair. It just makes the wash day so much better. And I have a whole video on that, but there's so many benefits to pre-pooing our hair. It's amazing. After that, you're gonna go ahead and shampoo your hair. Now you wanna shampoo it really good. If you wanna do a clarifying shampoo for this process, you can definitely do that. But the whole point is to make sure that you remove any product buildup off of your hair. After you shampoo your hair, you're going to do a protein treatment. I have a few that I recommend, but depending on how deficient the protein is, you may need more of a heavier protein, like Apogee Two Step, for example. And with this treatment, you're going to apply it to your hair, follow the instructions, which are very particular on the bottle. Because it is a hardcore protein, you're gonna to wanna to follow up with a deep conditioner to replenish that moisture back into the hair. 
Once you've done that, they can proceed to your leave-in conditioner. Ideally, a moisturizing or a light protein would be fine, and then proceed to your styling. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new, especially in the area of trying to figure out, is it protein, is it moisture, what do I do? Once again, this video is mainly focused on protein, but if you want me to do one on moisture deficiency, comment below, let me know, say, do a video or moisture deficiency, you know, and just, just let me know in the comments and I will definitely plan to do that video for you. Of course, I do have a question. My question for you is what do you do for protein? Like what treatment do you do? How do you incorporate protein into your current hair care regimen? And what products do you use to help with that? So comment below, let us all know, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. Once again, for more curly chemistry content, be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content. And if you would like to learn more about your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective, ingredients, all of the things, check out those amazing ebooks, these tools and resources that I created just for you, my best advice are in these ebooks and if you would like one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching to connect with me personally I would love to connect with you and create a personalized regimen for you including product recommendations suggestions all of the things and we get to connect for 30 minutes via zoom so yeah so definitely for more information check out the link below in the description box and if you are an entrepreneur and you want to start your own hair care line or you currently have a hair care line and want to take your products to the next level I would love to consult you as well and I'll post more information about that in the description box. All right, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.